Hi, welcome. This tutorial is about uh, Windows and moving things and, and making it workable. So, how is this i3? Um, yeah, how do we work with all these windows? Well, first of all, i3 is a Windows Styling Manager, meaning when I press Super Enter, it styles these things in two. And then, if you want to move things around, you can go to Super and then arrow up, arrow down, what you do is you actually are selecting an element. You are actually making the colors change. Maybe you can't see it, but the color, this is darker orange, so you can start typing. Wonderful command. Command of found, he says. So, that's that. We can move around. We can have super tap. Super tap. Okay. We have super shift tap that does nothing all right and then we have alt tap that's doing something all right and then we have also super arrow right up and all that but there's also control alt to the right to the left and up and down if needed and then we have what I use of what we normally want all the time is we want to move this thing to somewhere else. It's in my way, but I don't want to kill it. Killing it would be easy. It would be just this button here. But we don't want to kill it. We want to actually um, make sure that it's, um, it's there, but not on this screen. Moving this around, we can do it like so. And now it's to the left, to the right, as you can see and like so but that's on the same screen why not completely change it to three now it's on three eight is clear now and my terminal is on three that was the combination super shift seven for instance and now it's on seven so that's the way to do it and um, that's what i tend to use often when I want to change things around to, to move things, a window to another workspace. That's something. I told already this one, I guess, Control alt I don't know if I did that already. So that's something we can try, moving from one to the other. If you put something, some elements open, you can just move about like so in all the workspaces rather than using the mouse, which also works, of course. What else? What I also tend to do is when, let's take an example, when we have some things open. We're working like this, and I can't read this anymore. I should do it like so, and then I can read it again, but that's not workable. So what you do now is you press Super F for full screen. So you check it out, blah, 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 okay, change it up, and you go back to Super F full screen. That's one thing that's interesting. Another thing that's uh, from time to time useful, but not often, I must say. But what you can do is you can start an application, like a terminal, and then say to this window, Super Shift and Spacebar, and now it's a floating thing. So now it's not actually tiled anymore. It's not the way it's meant to be, but whatever, we're the boss. This is floating. This is, uh, we can move this thing around like so with our super key pressed. You don't see this one, I think, no. Super key pressed, pressed in and then with my mouse, left mouse click, I can move it over here and say, this is NeoFetch guys. This is my system. And then you share the screenshot with people. So that's floating. Getting rid of floating again is going again with super shift and spacebar and it's stopped floating. So that's the last thing I can think about moving and changing things. Um, that's one thing I can think of. But no, I didn't show you that thing. If you are really handy with your mouse, you can also make this thing big, bigger and smaller and of course very ugly but doesn't matter you can make it smaller or bigger anything you have floating 
And other things, of course, that are yeah, like this, you can't touch these things. You first have to make it floating so you can get to the corner. Right. I do believe we are um, out of conversation stuff. So this is what I do regularly to change my uh, windows, to change my uh, sizes and, and so on, to move things around, as you can see. And um, well, fun using i3. All right, cheers.